Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we will cover all the topics that you need to know to place your first trade on Sin Futures V3. To start off, let's look at the main page. There are four major sections. Market, Trade, Earn, and Portfolio. Market is the default section and it lists all the pairs that are available for trade. Trade section allows users to open and close their positions and view their past trading history. Earn section is for providing and removing liquidity. Portfolio section gives a broad overview of users' activity on Send Futures. You can also click on More to access Sin Futures Academy, Frequently Asked Questions, Docs, and White Paper. Like with any DeFi protocol, the first thing that you need to do on Sin Futures is to connect your wallet. Here is how you can do that. On the top of the page, click the Connect Wallet button. Sin Futures currently supports four major wallets. Select the wallet of your choice. Enter the password when prompted. Click Unlock, Next, and then Connect. Your wallet is now successfully linked to Sin Futures V3. The next step is getting Go Early ETH. Sin Futures V3 currently runs on Ethereum's Go Early testnet. So, in order to trade on the DAP, you need to have Go Early ETH in your wallet. If you don't have any, then don't worry. Send Futures has links to faucets that can get you 0.02 Go Early ETH. To get that, click on the Mint icon on the top right corner of the page. Right next to ETH, click on the Faucet ETH icon. This will take you to GoEarlyFaucet.com. Here, enter your wallet address. Click I'm not a robot and pass the CAPTCHA test. And then click Send Me ETH. You should now receive 0.02 Go Early ETH in your account. Coming back to Send Futures, the next step is to mint mock USDC tokens. On the Mint dialog box, right next to USDC, click Mint USDC. Confirm the transaction in your wallet. It'll likely take a few seconds. Once that happens, you will receive 10,000 mock USDC in your account. Now that we have both Go Early ETH and minted mock USDC, the next step is to transfer the margin amount from your wallet to Send Futures. To do that, go to the Portfolio section at the top of the page. Under Asset, click Deposit. 
this will open a new dialog box. Enter the amount of the USDC that you want to deposit. Click Deposit. and confirm it in your wallet. Do note, if this is the first time you're doing this on Send Futures, then you'd need to approve USDC first and then select Deposit. You'll now see the Portfolio section has updated to reflect your new balance. Finally, we now have everything we need to place our first trade. Let's go to the Trade section. Choose the Asset by clicking on the drop-down menu. This will list all the different pairs that are currently available for trade. If a pair has PERP next to its name, that means it's a perpetual future. And if it has a four-digit number, that means it's a dated future. Choose the pair of your choice. On Send Futures, you can place either a market order or a limit order. Market order will get executed immediately at the current market price, while a limit order will only get executed if a price reaches the level mentioned by the trader. First, let's look at how to place a market order. Make sure Market is highlighted in the trade box. Choose whether to buy or sell and click on the Buy or Sell tab. Enter the size of your trade and select the required leverage by moving the slider or entering the number in the text box next to it. Once you've done all that, you can now check the following details. Margin required, limit price, estimated trade value, price impact, and trading fee. After you've verified the details, click the Buy or Sell option. And then, approve it in the wallet. Once the trade is confirmed, you can monitor it from the Position tab. And that's it. You've now placed your first market order on Sin Futures V3. Now let's look at how you can place a limit order. The process is the same as market order, but with one extra step. Click the Limit tab. Choose whether to buy or sell the asset. And now, enter the limit price at which you want the trade to get executed. Select the size of your trade. And choose the required leverage. Note that because you're placing a limit order, you are now eligible to get a fee rebate if the order gets filled. Click the Buy or Sell button. And then approve it in the wallet. Do note that a limit order will only get filled if the market price reaches the specified limit price. Time for confirmation, of course, depends on the network congestion.
an order that has been placed but not filled can be found under the Open Order section. Once the order gets filled, you can see the details in the Position section. Now that we've learned how to open a trade, let's look at how to close an open position. On Send Futures, a trader just needs to find the open position, click Close, confirm Close at Specific Price, and then confirm the transaction in the wallet. The position will be closed at the current market price, and the remaining margin will be added to the available balance. And finally, let's look at how you can check all your previous activities on Send Futures. To do that, click on the Portfolio section. Select History from the left panel. Here you'll see all your previous trades, orders, funding, and transfer. You can also filter them by time frame by clicking the day, week, or month options on the top right hand corner. And that's it! We've now covered everything a new user needs to start trading on SinFutures V3. Looks like our limit order got filled as well. Thank you for watching the tutorial and please reach out if you have any questions.